this type of problems are frequently asked in J.E. mains and NEET. By using this formula, for a plano convex lens, radius of curvature is infinity and a convex surface radius of curvature is r. If it is plano convex, you have to take minus r here and if it is plano concave, you have to consider here plus r. So anyhow, if it is a plano r, plano convex or plano concave, the formula after simplifying this is going to become r by mu minus 1. If it is a convex, it is minus and if it is a concave, it is going to become plus. So plus r minus r by mu minus 1. So what you have to do here is 1 by f resultant is going to become 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2. So after substituting the values here, resultant focal length for plano convex, uh, it is going to become mu, uh, mu1 minus 1 by r and for a plano concave lens, it is uh, minus of minus plus will become minus here, it is going to become mu2 minus 1 by r. Okay, so here minus sign will come because for a con plano concave, it is minus, focal length is minus. So after simplifying, you will be getting 1 by f is equal to mu1 minus mu2 by r. Therefore, f is equal to r by mu1 minus mu2. If he is asking us to find out the radius of curvature and focal length ratio, so r by f is going to become mu1 minus mu2. That's it.